If you're planning a home project in the future, you need a certificate of insurance or a COI from the contractor doing the work. In this video, we'll explain what a COI is and why you need it. Hi, I'm Stacy Hearn. I've been helping clients prepare for home projects for 23 years, and I have definitely seen more Disney movies than you have. But unfortunately, as much as I begged, that is not what this video is about. We understand that many people don't know what a COI is or why they need it. So in this video, we're going to define a COI, let you know what you should request from your contractor, and tell you what to look for when reviewing the document. If you don't get a COI and have a claim when doing a home project, you might have to pay for damages out of pocket. Simply put, a certificate of insurance is a digital or printed document proving someone has insurance coverage. These could be for any type of business insurance, but are most often needed for general liability or workers' compensation insurance. The COI outlines details about an insurance policy, including company name, insurer name, type of insurance, policy numbers, policy effective dates, and coverage limits. Essentially, the COI serves as a proof of insurance so you know any contractors or businesses you are working with have the insurance protections essential to minimize risks. If you're completing a home project of any kind, we strongly, strongly recommend to get a COI from the contractors you're working with. The purpose of acquiring a COI is to make sure the person doing the work has appropriate insurance coverage for that work. That way, in the event of a claim, the contractor's insurance will essentially respond and protect you as the homeowner from a claim being made against you. If the subcontractor didn't have adequate insurance and there was a claim, you could end up needing to pay for the damages they caused. So on top of an expensive home project, you'd need to pay for any damages that happen to you, your family, or your home. To get a COI for a home project, you simply need to ask the contractor doing the work on your home to provide you with a COI. The contractor or company you are working with will then need to contact their commercial insurance agent to provide them with your name, address, and insurance requirements. If the contractor already has the proper coverage, the agent will issue the COI for the contractor to give to you. If their insurance coverages do not meet your requirements, they can either buy the extra coverage or decline to take on the job. We've also seen some contractors work out a deal with the homeowner to buy the extra coverage if they can add the cost of it to the price of the job they're completing. So in this case, you would be paying for the coverage, but it may be worth it for your protection and preventing you from looking for another contractor. So I'm sure you're wondering what types of insurance and how much insurance should I require from a contractor? As a homeowner, you probably aren't too familiar with business insurance and aren't comfortable knowing what types of insurance and what coverage limits to require of people working on your home. You want to be fully protected, but you also don't want to have unreasonable insurance requirements. Some of these requirements can depend on your specific project, but we can give you a few recommendations. General liability insurance is a type of coverage that covers claims made against your contractor and his business from someone who experienced bodily injury or property damage. This policy kicks in if your contractor causes damage to your property or injury to you or a family member. Without making sure they have enough coverage, you could be stuck paying for those repairs or injuries. We recommend you make sure your contractor has at least $1 million in liability coverage. Sometimes known as an excess liability policy, commercial umbrella insurance supplements a business's existing general liability insurance, commercial auto insurance, and workers' compensation insurance. If a large claim exhausts their underlying coverage, the business umbrella insurance will cover the rest up to the limits on the policy. Depending on the value of your home and your comfort level, you may want to make sure your contractor has an umbrella policy. 
For example, if you have a home worth more than $1 million, it may be a good idea to have at least $1 million in umbrella insurance to supplement the general liability policy. If your house is under a million dollars and you're comfortable with it, you might be okay with your contractor not having an umbrella. But keep in mind, beyond the value of your home, you also have to be concerned about your home's contents and injury liability. To make sure your contractor has the right insurance for your specific project, you wanna reach out to your insurance agent so they can provide you with more individualized guidance. Workers' Compensation Insurance covers medical payments and a portion of lost wages for employees who become injured or ill due to work-related causes. If a contractor working on your home gets injured on the job and they aren't covered by workers' compensation, they could sue you for injuries. Limits for workers' comp can vary depending on the work being completed. We typically recommend at least $500,000, but if you have questions, definitely check with your agent. You also need to make sure no contractors are excluded from the policy. Much like personal auto insurance, commercial auto insurance protects against damage and injury when driving, except it applies to business vehicles. While this coverage isn't usually necessary for a home project, you may want to consider including this as an insurance requirement if you want to ensure protection to any materials being transported to your home. When you finally have the CUI from your contractor in hand, you want to check certain items to confirm everything is correct and you are in fact properly covered. This section should include the name of the contractor. This section shows the insurance company your contractor has the business insurance policy through. Sometimes there may be more than one insurance company listed. This just means they have different carriers for their different types of insurance. You want to look at the insurance type section to make sure the correct policies correspond with the correct carriers. This section shows the types of insurance the COI is providing insurance for. You want to check here to make sure it includes all the types of insurance you are requesting. Across from the insurance types, you'll see the policy limits associated with each type of insurance. Again, make sure these limits match the amount you requested. This section shows the term of the commercial insurance policy, meaning when it started and when it will expire. If you expect your home project to extend beyond the expiration date, you want to make sure the contractor or company renews their policy and you get a new COI from them. The date issue shows the date the COI was created. So for one, you want to double check that the date is correct and within the policy effective period. You'll also want to note that a COI is only a snapshot in time, meaning that it can only prove insurance was active on the issue date. Theoretically, a contractor could get a COI as proof of insurance, then cancel the policy the next day. This section is where the agent should list the property address for the job and any details or your special requirements. We recommend to clients they may be listed as an additional insured in this section to protect them against liability lawsuits. If you're listed as an additional insured, you will usually be notified if the policy cancels, leaving you unprotected. Under the workers' compensation section, there will be a checkbox indicating whether the owner is included under the policy. Sole proprietors and officers of corporations can opt out of workers' compensation coverage, so the checkbox will show whether they are included or not. There may also be language about it in the special conditions section if the owner is not included. If this is the case, you should require they not be exempt from the coverage. Anybody working on your home should have workers' compensation coverage. And of course, you want to make sure the document is signed by the contractor's insurance agent indicating that it is official. Now you know what a COI is, why you need it, and what you should look out for. Before you begin your project, you might want to check if you need builder's risk insurance. Check out the article below to learn more. Thanks for watching this video. Now you can hire the right contractor for your home project with ease. Have a great day.